All right, so uh, in the previous video, we got the shoulders up and running and they're looking great, perfect. Um, the controls are all linked up. The COG is basically controlling everything up until this point. So that's working absolutely perfectly. Um, so what we need to do now is to um, basically uh, duplicate the um, controls for the spine and sort of put them along the, the head here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I also noticed that my IK hand is in the wrong spot. So I'm just gonna move those to the COG under the global. There we go, that looks better. So now if I go ahead and move that, there we go, that's what I want. Fantastic, so it's all working perfectly. So now what we need to do is, I wanna duplicate one of these controls basically. I don't wanna to have to make a brand new one. So uh, to do that, luckily all our controls are pretty independent of one another. So we're not gonna end up duplicating a spine for instance, or a bunch of joints. So I'm just gonna go ahead, select the control I wanna duplicate, control D. I'm just gonna temporarily move that out of our hierarchy, like so. And I want to delete anything that comes after the IK chest. So just delete anything like that, cool. That will just prevent me from accidentally, you know, deleting the wrong one and causing all kinds of strife. So that's still working. Fantastic. Uh, yep. Yeah. Awesome. So now over here, we're going to grab the spine four joint, and then we're going to go ahead and rename it as neck or neck one actually, because we have two neck joints here. And now with that in mind, I can go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off my geo temporarily. I'm going to move that control to the base of my neck and scale that down. And in this case, I actually want to um, put this into a locator as well. Um, just like before, I want to make sure that the orientations of the, um, the neck are pretty much spot on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, by grabbing a locator. Let's increase the local scale for, and let's just snap it up to the base of the neck there. Great. Uh, now, of course, we need to do a the following, select the locator, select the neck joint, and then match transforms. Great, and then as you can see, you can see what I mean by the orientations being a little bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and parent the control to the locator now. Again, O-R-G underscore um, neck. And the control itself, let's go ahead and freeze those transforms, done. All right, now we can just duplicate that whole setup again. Duplicate, move it up to the um, control here, match transforms, and repeat the process for the head as well. Duplicate, neck, head, match transforms. Cool. So again, very simple little setup here. Um, next, we're just going to go ahead and rename these accordingly. So neck, neck two, let's just call the first one neck one. Call the last one uh, head. So neck one is the base, neck two is the second one. So making sure not to mix up my numbers. There we go. And just like with the, um, the FK joint chains in the past, the, you work backwards. So basically the head joint will go to the neck joint, which will go to the first neck joint. So head to control. There we go, something like that. And now we have our... Okay, so there's one last thing I wanna do before I start to connect everything up uh, to this uh, rig is um, I just want to make this controller a little bit bigger and sit a little bit higher in the um, the grant in the in the layout. So 
I'm going to turn on my Geo again. You can see here that the control for the head is sitting right there in the middle of the mouse. So I want to raise it up a little bit. So just make sure that you're in um, object uh, orientation, at least when you're doing this, uh, because we've already got the, the right orientation of the control. So all you need to do is lift it up like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and scale that up to sit around the crown of the head. All right, so let's just go ahead and then freeze the transforms. And because the pivot point is still at this point around the control, I want to keep it down there at the bottom of our um, pivot point there. We're just going to go ahead and push the end of the keyboard and just move that back down to where it belongs. Okay, so now that that's out the way, we can begin to set up the connections for the rotations. And we're just going to use the connection editor for that. So real simple stuff. Let's hide away the geo for now and select our controller. Let's go to our... Windows, General Editors, Connection Editor. And we're going to hook up the, the rotation to the rotation of um, the FK or just a regular deform joint. So reload the right on the deform joint. We're going to go to our rotations as always. So just like the arms, rotate, scroll down to you, find rotate. Where are we? There we go. Fantastic. And because the orientations are perfectly aligned, we shouldn't have any issues. Reload left on the next chain, reload right on the next chain, rotate to rotate. And then finally for the head, reload left, select the last joint, reload right, rotate to rotate. All right, cool. Let's give this a little test. So now we have all our three controls here doing their thing. Controlling the head is a cinch. Fantastic. All right, cool. And if we turn the head, there we go. We've got some nice head turns. You can see the crushing happening there because we haven't animated the uh, the neck. And if you really wanted to do something fancy, you could technically do a spline IK there, just as the same as the, as the actual spine, but we're not going to go that far. And now it's just a matter of putting the ORG neck into the right part of our hierarchy here. So it's just gonna be a child of the chest IK control. So let's go ahead and open up our hierarchy here and look for our chest IK. And just like the shoulders, they're gonna sit in here, boom. And now if we move the body, top of the body, the head's gonna come for the right, just as we want to, fantastic. It's going to rotate with the head or with the um, the body as well. Fantastic. And now if we go ahead and select this, that's working. That's working. And that's working. Great. Okay, for the jaw control, I'm actually going to create something very similar to the shoulders. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a new circle down here. New circle, scale that up, scale it flat-ish, something like that. And I want to create a shape that sort of wraps around the jawline. So um, I'm going to grab the control vertices here and here, move them up just like that. Just keep going until actually something like that would be good. All right, grab these two points here and here, here and here and grab that. Great. Awesome. So now once we've done that, I'm going to make a brand new null or empty and then just put the nerve circle inside the locator locator to the jaw match transforms and we're ready to roll and all we need to do now is just scale up that nerve circle and see how we're looking at the moment so right now it's in the wrong wrong angle of course so i'm just going to go ahead and rotate that and then I might rotate it this way, 90 degrees. Awesome. So I'm just going to go ahead and just scale it to fit until I'm happy. Just make sure that's nice and clean. There we go, something like that. Let's scale it down a little bit like that. And then, of course, I'm going to rotate it 
this way down like so and then freezer transforms great now that's all sorted we can now go ahead and do the same thing grab the nerve circle grab the jaw grab the connection editor and we've got everything that we need i think yep great so now just rotate to rotate and we're done cool so now that that jaw is being controlled by that controller just what we want so now let's just rename that as oig uh jaw control jaw and this will become a child of the head joint so let's have a look down our hierarchy here we want it to be a child of the head here so grab that put it there now of course i forgot to rename the head joint here so just go ahead and rename that all right cool so now we have the entire body complete except for the fingers and the fingers are basically the same thing we've been doing all this time with the fk joint chains so it should be pretty easy to get those to work to a t but you can see here everything's working everything's looking really good fantastic we will have to do some cleanup here and there just like you know freezing transform not freezing transforms but locking transforms hiding them that sort of stuff but for the most part the actual mechanism of the rig is complete. Um, and of course we can do the eyes as well. So the hands and eyes are all that's left to really complete this overall rig. Um, and after that, it's all just flourishes. All right, cool. I'll catch you in the next one.